Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our inputs in our Haltech ESP software. So we're gonna be finding that we have to define and configure inputs, such as an air temp, our coolant temp sensors, map sensors, throttle position sensor, wideband sensor, oil pressure, fuel pressure. We're gonna be finding we have all these inputs that we have to define correctly in order for them to read properly in our software. So we're gonna be taking a look at how to go in and set up all these basic sensors and then going into our diagnostic section and then doing a cross check based on the roll voltage that's coming in so we can make sense if there's a wiring problem or maybe a sensor problem. I'm gonna be showing you all that in this video. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at how to set up and configure our inputs in our Haltech. So whether we're gonna be using a MAP sensor, an air temp, a coolant temp sensor, um, all the way from an oil pressure, fuel pressure, or air temp sensor, we're gonna be configuring them and setting them up in one very specific location in our software. And it's a relatively simple process, but we need to know a lot of information in order to do it correctly. So the very first thing you're probably noticing here is that my page area is blank. Now I've deleted my pages that I had on my screen for a very specific reason. I only want to add in the pages are going to be most relevant for the task that I'm doing in each video. I'm going to be going in and adding two of the default pages from Haltech in this video, but in the upcoming videos, when we look at a very specific ta task, such as fuel tuning, spark tuning, um, or many other kinds of uh, tasks or features in our tuning process, we're gonna be adding a custom page for that process or that tuning feature so that we're most able to efficiently tune that specific task and uh, we have the, the best workflow possible in our tuning process. So the first thing I'm gonna do here, jump up into view, load page, we're going to be seeing we have two folders here. There's going to be the resolution size of the pages that we can uh, open up in these folders. I'm going to be using this res 1366 by 768 for my laptop screen, which is approximately 13 inch. If you have a larger laptop screen, you can probably get away with this larger resolution uh, uh, page layouts from Haltex. I'm going to grab the smaller ones. I'm going to double click here. And we can see we have a bunch available. What I'm going to be looking at specifically is the main page here and the diagnostic page. So if we want to open up a page, we can simply click on it, click open, and now it populates into our screen here in our page view. I'm gonna go back in, go to view, go to load page, jump into that folder again, and then move into diagnostics. Click that, click open. So now we see we have our two pages open here and we're not gonna be adding any more in this video. Now looking at our diagnostic page, we're able to see our analog voltage inputs here 